Okay, this is another tutorial for Microsoft Excel. Um, this is using some more advanced functions like if. Um, and this is a sample. Let's say this is a, a youth group and you're trying to organize some kind of a field trip. And whether or not people need permission is partially based on age. So, like, let's say I'm going to call this need permission. Okay? So, if they're 18 or over, obviously they don't need parent permission. I mean, realistically, they probably still do, but um, legally. So I can do equal if C, move this out of the way. I did equal if, and then I did the little parentheses. Um, C2 is greater than 17, then the comma means then. Yes. Else. No. Oh, I did that backwards. No. Else. Yes. Okay, so what that's going to do is if C2 is greater than 17, then no, they don't need permission. Or yes, they need permission. Okay, so now I'm basically going to just fill this down. And you can see that anybody that is listed as being up to through and through 17 needs permission, and those who are over 18 don't. All right, now that might not be a great thing, but let's say um, this is an easier one to understand. I'll do equal if parentheses. B2 equals M, then boy, else girl. Okay, and I'm going to drag that down here. All right, so, you know, let's say that you're trying to figure who's going to room with who. Obviously, you want to put boys with boys, girls with girls. So that's one way to kind of sort that out. Or here's another interesting thing equal if e let's see let's say um hmm actually before we do that let's say you're trying to collect um this is the money money earned by candy sales okay um payment due so let's say you're earning money from candy sales to go on a field trip. If someone's earned, say, over, I don't know, $60, then they don't have to help with the candy, with, with the trip money. All right, so I can do equal if, parentheses, G2 is greater than 60, then 0, else... Um, 20. Okay. And I can drag this down. So this kid and this kid and this kid and this kid and this kid, this kid, oh, $20. All right. So it's kind of a nice way to be able to have functions because you can format things and, you know, I mean, you really have a lot of flexibility with something like this. It helps where, you know, if an employee um, let's say you have um, John and Sally and Robert and then here you can have um, insurance and then yes no yes okay so here you can say cost equals if D16 equals Y then 100 else 0. Okay, so it cost him 100, cost her 0, cost him 100. All right, so, you know, it's, it's a great way to have some formulas with some, um, based on different kind of attributes. So I hope that helps for you too. Thanks a lot.